Good morning, Joy Kids. Today is the very first Monday of January 2021. I hope you guys had an amazing January 1st celebration with your family. If anyone is actually listening to this before you have prayed, please pause the video and pray and come back. I would have said that for the other days, but for today, since it's the very first day, I will pray for all of us and so that you know how you should be praying. All right, so let's close our eyes and put our hands together. I'll pray for us. Um, dear Heavenly Father, God, we thank you so much for waking me up this morning. God, I'm going to start this morning with your word. Lord, I don't know anything. So teach me and guide me through the Holy Spirit so that I can know your words and really know you more, God. We thank you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so Joy Kids, that's how I want you to pray. And that was just an example, right? So for starting tomorrow, I want you to play the YouTube video after praying for yourself. And so that I'm going to go right into the words. So let me read today's passage, which comes from 1 John chapter 2, verses 28 through chapter 3, verses 10. So here it goes. Dear children, remain joined to Christ. Then when he comes, we can be bold. We will not be ashamed to meet him when he comes. You know that God is right and always does what is right. And you know that everyone who does what is right is God's child. See what amazing love the Father has given us. Because of it, we are called children of God. But we know that when Christ appears, we'll be like him. Everyone who sins breaks the law. In fact, breaking the law is sin. But you know that Christ came to take our sins away, and there is no sin in him. No one who remains joined to him keeps on sinning. The people who does what is sinful belongs to the devil. That's because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. But the Son of God came to destroy the devil's work. Those who are God's children will not keep on sinning. God's very nature remains in them. They can't go on sinning. That's because they are God's children. Anyone who doesn't do what is right isn't God's child. And anyone who doesn't love their brother or sister isn't God's child either. Amen. So Joy Kids, I want you to pause this video and try to meditate. Try to understand each word and try to question the example questions that I gave it to you and explain to you, but ultimately, I want you to try to meditate on who God is through this passage as well. So pause this video and play back once you have done meditation. All right, so welcome back. So you all know where the book of First John is. It's almost at the very end part. Right, of the New Testament book. Right, so it should be around very end, close to end um, of your Bible. If you have the Bible with you right now. So try to look for where 1 John is. But, you know, this passage is starting with calling you to your children. Remain joined to Christ. Do you all remember that Jesus will be coming back again? Right, And it's telling us, addressing to us that Jesus will be coming back and we should be glad and we should be happy that Jesus will be coming back again. And then it goes on and it talks about how we are called the children of God. And the reason how we can be called the children of God is that because Jesus died on the cross for our sins. You know, without Jesus' death, we would not be called the children of God. 
Because when Adam sinned, our relationship with God broke. And that's why the death of Jesus is so amazing. And this verse goes on calling us and telling us that breaking the law is sin. Do you remember the definition of sin for those who have attended my Bible studies? Right, it's away from the target. And the target is what God wants. And so, you know, those who do not believe in Christ will be keep on sinning. But can you see that it's called keep on sinning? Because do you all sin? Yes. Do I sin? Yes. But then then how come it says that we should not be keep on sinning? Why are they saying that? Even though you believe in Christ, even though we believe in Jesus Christ, until we die and enter heaven, we will be sinning. But here's the thing. If we really truly love Jesus Christ, even though we can fall, we'll try to come back and do what God truly wants. So we will repent Right? Repentance is asking for forgiveness, saying, God, I'm sorry that I sinned. And so we wouldn't be trying to keep on sinning. Even though we fall many, many, many times, what, what's right to do is that we need to stand up again and repent to God and come back to God. Right? But here's the thing. For those devil will try to sin, and they will try to make you all fall. They want you to go further away from God. And so, you know, even though we are God's children right now, devil, as mentioned here, even though Jesus' death on the cross have destroyed the devil's work, devil's work was to stop from us. Or stop people from going to heaven. And that was devil's work. By making Adam sin. And eat from the tree of knowledge. So that the relationship between God and people will be broken. And devil wanted that because he saw that we were created in God's image. And while he had to go to hell. People were going to heaven. He saw that. So that was the work that God destroyed or Jesus destroyed by dying on the cross. It is not complete until the second coming of Jesus. Complete meaning that devil will be sent to hell. And those who believe in Jesus Christ, God's children, will be going into heaven. And so... I know that we fall so many times and we sin, but we shouldn't be keep on sinning, meaning we should always try to do what God wants, even though we fall, right? As this says, if you look at the potter's wall, I'll read it for you. It says, we should abide in Christ to be confident before Jesus at his second coming. We are called children of God because of the great love we owe to the Father. Therefore, we must reveal him through our lives. Sin is lawlessness, so those who come from God do not commit sins. The mission of Son of God is to destroy the devil's work. Right. So when Jesus died on the cross, right, he saved all of us. And paid for our sins. And Jesus also destroyed the devil's work. So I want you to remember that Jesus did two things when he died on the cross. He saved us all. And he destroyed the devil's work. Right, And Jesus will come again. His second coming. All right, so let me close in prayer. Uh, the prayer that I will be closing is... On the very bottom, on the right side of your book. So here it goes. Dear God, thank you for accepting me as your child. 
I will always remember your amazing love. Please use me as your channel of blessing. Lord, we thank you so much. Allow us to have a joyful day in you, Lord. Lead us and guide us and all the joy kids. Lord, we love you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.